Okay, so my live video cut out, but I am just starting um, a regular video for you guys. We are walking the general path that Pam Sturm walked um, when she found Teresa Halbeck's car. <laughs> that God sent her to. <laughs> now over to the left here, that's where the crusher was. Okay. And this is in the fall, so... <clears throat> The weather, I mean, it's obviously a lot warmer, but there wouldn't be a lot more. I mean, it's like they, she'd have snow to deal with or anything, so this is a pretty accurate walkthrough. Wow, but she's supposed to be looking in and out of cars looking for her loved one. Right. So not only are you looking for her car, but you're looking for her. So we're not looking in cars. And they're, yeah, hi. <laughs> So there, there were cars all over here. The crusher was over here with all cars. There were cars back there. And now you see where that big mountain is. Well, Teresa's car's on the other side of that. Oh, okay. So why you would walk there, and wouldn't you, when you got here then, start going through these yeah. cars? Instead, they continued to walk straight this way. And behind, was that big mound there, do you know? There, yeah, the mound was there and there were crushed cars that were stacked Oh, up. wow. So she was really... Going so the way out of her way. The only thing that I can think is maybe she thought, let's work from the back forward. Yeah, but you would still check all this as you're passing. Why would you just walk past all of this? Yeah. You could still go here. So then there was a lot of cars right. in this area then. Yeah. Um, Carla, Carla yeah. sent me, I have pictures somewhere of what the cars looked like, what the lot was like then. Yeah, that'd be good to put in the video. <clears throat> I haven't had a tetanus shot in a long time and I'm wearing flip flops. <laughs> There's a lot of metal car parts jabbing me. And take your own risk. Yeah. Probably get those updated, huh? What? Oh, my vaccines, I know. Wow, this is really ridiculous. I mean, all this foliage and everything was here then, or? Mm -hmm. Until her car was over here. So, in between all these trees, Next to a pond that's deep enough that you could push a car in there and you wouldn't see it. Her car was double parked right over here. Huh. And as you will see, there's the berm that's here now, but right on the other side of it is the big court. <coughs> yeah, she's probably right about it. Oh yeah, there is the big quarry. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and look at the giant, if you, if you go up there and look, it, there's, you can hide fucking airplanes out there. Yeah. Well, walk down to the end of this road and then you'll be able to see. I'm scared. Don't let me fall. Don't, don't pull don't me drag and make you me down. fall with you. It's more like <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, you probably shouldn't have wore sandals. I know, I wasn't thinking. Or Nike's to a bonfire, wore sandals to a adventure. <laughs> I'm 
my only question is, is they, they probably couldn't have pushed that car in there with all those trees there. Probably was stopped and got stuck at the base. Yeah. But it was also fall, so. The tree's still there. And 10 years ago, so who knows? I mean, things have obviously grown since then. <clears throat> Corey, that's how close it is, and the berm didn't used to be there, and there used to be a road that came right through. Well, and just past that big thing, that was the road that came in. Right. Where you could drive right through there. And look towards that way where the residents are. So you could drive back here, <coughs> and they're not going to see because you can't see the houses from here. Right. So how would you know that somebody drove in through this back way and came down this road from yeah, over there? Big yeah, it's giant. Well, it goes back that way about 12 miles. Wow. We drove through there last winter. We pulled in off the road out there, drove for probably 15 minutes before we even got to the office, which is at the beginning of it. You need to do a full view with your GoPro from up there. He thought about bringing his drone. Oh yeah, that'd been cool.